Okay, we're going to do um, a first integration by parts problem. Um, this is another kind of slightly more complex integration than just basic integration, um, similar to use substitution, but a totally different method. So this problem is x e to the 2x dx. And the formula that we're going to be working with um, it's going to be, here's the formula, um, u dv, the integral of u dv, is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. Um, and all that this means is that um, we are going to pull out from this equation here, our original problem, u and dv elements. This part of the formula mirrors our problem. So we're going to find u and dv in this formula, and then we will, from u and dv, derive um, du and v, the four different components, um, plug back into this half of the formula and solve the problem. So what we're going to want to do, um, and usually the way um, you want to write this is uh, u du and v dv. Um, like I said, we have to find u and dv in the problem. There's always going to be u and dv in our equation. So we're going to go ahead and assign u to x up here and dv to e to x um, dx here. Um, and the way that we do that, the reason that we, that we know um, to do it that way is because um, now that we've assigned these, we're going to take the derivative of x to get du, and we're going to take the antiderivative of e to the 2x dx to get v. Um, so ultimately, the best thing that we can do is assign u to something that's going to become really simple. So like when we take the derivative of x, it's just 1. du is going to be just 1, um, which is the simplest, <laughs> the simplest thing we can get. So that's going to help us out a lot. So if we can assign u to something that becomes simpler when we take the derivative of it, that's ideal. Versus if we had made um, e to the 2x dx, u and then took the derivative of, of this, we would get um, we'd get 2 e to the 2x, which really isn't simpler at all. So that's how we know what u should be and what dv should be. So once we've done those, um, we go ahead and take the derivative of u. Um, so here it's 1. And then we're going to take the antiderivative, um, or the integral, of e to the 2x dx. And when we take the integral of that, um, we're going to get 1 half e to the 2x, um, and, and the dx goes away. So um, what we want to do now, um, I'm sorry, this is going to be dx here as well. Um, so what we're going to want to do now is, is plug back in. And the way that's going to look, we're going to plug back into here. Um, so you'll see this start to develop. We're going to plug in for u, x, and then v is 1 half e to the 2x. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the 1 half in front to make this cleaner. e to the 2x minus the integral of v, um, 1 half e to the 2x, 1 half e to the 2x du, um, so just 1 dx, the 1 um, the one disappears obviously and then we just write dx. So the reason that um, I originally forgot to put dx here and then knew that I needed to put it, you saw me stutter there, was because I knew that this du was going to go into the formula here and when you have integral notation you always have to have this dx. It's really not going to affect the problem but it is proper notation so you notice that um, u and v are clean terms without uh, any dx notation. Both du and dv have this dx on the end, 
this one we got from here, and this one we, uh, we wrote with the 1 when we took the derivative, that will always be true. So go ahead and add dx um, to the du part. This one's always going to come from up here um, when, you, uh, when you come up with these four factors here. So now that we've written out this equation, um, we're going to go ahead and take the integral here. And the way that we do that, so this is going to stay the same, 1 half e, or 1 half x, e to the 2x minus, we're going to pull the 1 half outside of the integral, and we're going to take the integral of e to the 2x dx. Um, the integral, of, of course, here um, of e to the 2x, we're going to do 1 half x e to the 2x minus 1 half, um, and then here's going to start the integral. Uh, 1 half e to the 2x um, and then plus c, the constant we always add to the end. Um, I, I'll put it up under the rules page, but, um, but the integral of e uh, to the x with any um, coefficient here on the x is that same thing, e to the 2x right here. Um, and then the coefficient becomes 1 over whatever this constant is right here. So 1 half e to the 2x. Um, so this could be our answer, but I'm just going to go ahead and simplify and I'm going to make sure you guys can still see what I'm writing. And it looks like you barely can. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up just a little bit um, and uh, simplify this. So I'm going to factor out, pull out here, a 1 half. Um, and an e to the 2x, which is in both, um, let me draw a line here so you can clearly see this, um, e to the 2x, which is in both terms. So 1 half e to the 2x times the x, which I have here, minus the 1 half, the extra 1 half, which I have in the second term. And that's everything. And then plus c to account for the constant. Um, and that's the final answer. Thanks.